Also tonight, stunning video of a high speed chase. A deeper look now at the dash cam video we first brought you yesterday of Friday's deadly law enforcement pursuit that ended in Brunswick. On your side's Haley Harrison was also looking into this story tonight on whether or not the pursuit was even in line with Camden County Sheriff's Office policies where this chase all started. Watch this video. You see a Camden County Sheriff's deputy catch up to a motorcyclist and follow behind him for about a minute on I-95. Then, when the motorcyclist gets an opening, he starts speeding more than 100 miles per hour away from the deputy. The deputy is able to give a description of the motorcyclist and the motorcycle to dispatch. He also rattles off a possible license plate number. Right, we just crossed into Glen County. At about two minutes in, the pursuit continues into a different jurisdiction, going in and out of rush hour traffic on the highway and, at times, into the emergency lane. All right, Kim, he's getting off exit 36 on 341, speeds at 135. After going into Brunswick, the roughly six and a half minute pursuit ends with the motorcyclist crashing into a car at an intersection where he dies. First Coast News crime and safety expert Mark Bachman says, there was no reason to put any drivers at risk. No, the policies are in place. They just have to be adhered to. According to Camden County Sheriff's Office policies, a pursuit should not continue unless immediate authorization is given by a managing supervisor. It also says deputies should weigh the seriousness of the offense against the possible consequences of jeopardizing the safety of others. A supervisor probably should have got on the air and asked the officer what charges, existing charges you have. Based upon that, he should have told or he or she should have discontinued that pursuit from a supervisory level. He adds law enforcement now has access to technology that likely could have identified the motorcyclist without having to pursue him. And uh, maybe later on they, they're able to find that individual and somehow cite him and arrest him for fleeing and eluding as well as reckless driving, which are jailable offenses in Georgia. I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side. Georgia State Police did confirm to us today that its specialized collision reconstruction team has decided to do a full investigation since this crash resulted from a pursuit. The Camden County Sheriff's Office tells us that if GSP does find that any policies were violated, Sheriff Jim Proctor will then take the appropriate action.